Hey yo everybody, welcome back to Demonstration. This is Jordan. Jordan. Then this is Will, uh, and it seems like what we're seeing on screen is the average DoorDash experience. Something like that. Today yeah, we're playing Pizza Possum! And I've used it once, I usually use it to uh, send things to Amanda since we're long distance. That's fair. Yeah, I've never used it at all. Like, most of the time when it comes to delivery, I mostly... I mostly do pickup myself, uh, but, like, apparently you get some good deals with DoorDash. I know places I've worked at in the past have used it a lot, so I'm guessing you're playing as a delivery mouse, or... Uh, yeah, we're cook, playing mouse, as the pizza possum. possum. Okay. I honestly don't know, like, how we're... Okay. So, it's essentially oh. steal food to make pizzas and don't get caught. <laughs> So it's like a oh. stealth type of game. Metal, so Metal Gear Pizza. Metal Gear Pizza. Okay, and I don't see like how to drop anything off there. So you got like this bush to hide in. Yeah. And, like that bush over there. So like I'm gonna run for this bush. What's with this possum? It's just like you want to find Japanese animes. Okay, so I think maybe you have to unlock the key first, and then you end up yeah, getting... Yeah, so that's what it is. So, like, now yeah. pop out of the bush, and we can unlock the gate. There you go. This is definitely interesting. Metal Gear Possum. I mean, it, it wouldn't be too unlike a potential, uh... Uh, Metal Gear spinoff, because we already have Mary Gear Solid. Do we? Santa Claus. Yeah. Oh, it's I didn't a fan know that. Game. It oh, is a okay. fan game in which you play as Santa Claus trying to deliver presents uh, while trying to avoid kids that are awake past their bedtime. <laughs> so I guess here it'd be like... I don't... So I remember in Me in the Metal Gear Solid games that you're given a rank based on how well you do, and those ranks are, the, are like the code names. Uh, I don't know what... What like something possum? So you got solid snake, decoy octopus, and all that. Oh, little save points. Okay. What would this one be? Oh, okay. So I got ravenous speed po boost. ravenous possum. Yeah, that'd, that'd be it. Okay, so you get power ups. So this is very much an arcadey score attack kind of game. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is cute. I like the I like the visual style of it. Always like a nice su uh, style, a, a, a more clarified art style kind of situation. Ah, and you can't like get too many big foods. Otherwise, you risk uh, you get fat and then. <laughs> yeah, you get too slow. Okay, so like. If they spot you, you can only really outrun them. Yeah, I, Dogs yeah, love you can chasing really bones outrun. more than chasing possums. So, okay, now, like, I've unlocked a bone item, so maybe I can, like, throw bones or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh! I can attack the villagers and take their food. You can be a. Uh. Rough. Robber possum, mug mug possum. You know, funny enough, like despite possums being a known vermin, I have oh there's a there's a checkpoint there. Is there? Yeah, just below. There's a P. Oh, pff. I skipped that checkpoint. I will come back for it now. You ever encountered possums a whole lot? Yes. I've only seen them like once or twice. There we go. I got so bones. now, yeah, like I, I've never really seen a possum uh, more than a couple times, and I've, so I've never had to deal with them. Are they, are they like really, really bad, or are they? No, like no? possums okay. still hiss, they'll like get up at you and be like trying to threaten you, but in reality, they're you can just put your hand in their mouth and they're barely gonna attack or bite. Okay. Isn't it? Don't some people keep possums as pets? Yeah, some people do. Okay. Well, this is definitely cute. Oh, definitely. Now, can I climb up and get this ice cream? 
Oh, yes. I thought that was just a decoration of the level. <laughs> huh. I nabbed I some creme. I thought that was a decoration for, uh, for like an ice cream stand or something. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is. But, uh... Do you know how to throw the bones? Uh, yeah, I just probably gotta press space at the right time. Right. There you go. There we go. That made it a lot easier. Yes. Just kind of playing it safe this time, getting another See, now, key. this is just the average experience of what it's like when you're touring around in a place you've never been. It's like, oh, I want to go somewhere and try that food. I want to go somewhere and try that food. I want to go over to yeah. that place and try that food. This like, is just this us is, in Italy. This is just the vacation experience. Yes. Like, no matter where you go, this is it. This was me in Sweden. <laughs> yes. Because, like, I, it was you like every other... You sent me so other... many pictures. It... it the average day in Sweden consisted of me and my dad having various kinds of pastries and just us, like, lamenting over, like, my god, a 7-Eleven pastry in Sweden is better than most actual, like, most, like, bakery establishments in the U.S. And yeah. part of the reason for that is because we like to glaze our shit and sugar a lot. There's a sure. checkpoint. Yes, I see it. <laughs> so... Like, I remember, first day of Sweden, I was really horrifically jet-lagged. I had slept 16 hours, and my dad had gotten some stuff from, <laughs> I the cheese. A, from like, a 7-Eleven nearby. And then I wake up at around 5 in the morning. I don't know what time that is specifically right now for America. But I wake up, and then I go to this thing that my dad got me. I bite into it, and I'm like... Why is this so much better than most of the stuff I've had in America? Why is this actually... What? This is a 7-Eleven pastry? Hello? Yeah. So, that was... That was definitely part of the experience was getting to have a constant amount of coffee and pastries that were one-upping each other. Along with the breakfast buffets, those kept getting better and better at each hotel we've been to. Nice. Like, you wake up and... You wake up and then you go over to these buffets and then you see like, oh, you've got smoked salmon, wasa bread, uh, Swedish pancakes, and all this really tasty stuff. And it's all, and they all were really good. Like the kind of things that if it were at an American uh, hotel, you'd have to probably pay for, or it'd be attached to your hotel bill. Mmm, Zepola. Zepola. Okay. So, in other words. Uh, when you're traveling, expect to eat a lot. Yeah, that's part of why we all want to go. Ooh, there's a Zapola yeah, under the bridge. I wonder, can I drop down under? Can you? Yes. Okay, I thought the, I thought another the water would be a lot deeper. Same, I didn't know if water was like a kill you thing. Yeah. But this possum can swim. Can possums swim? Uh, I'm pretty sure they can. Because I remember, I remember there was a funny debate a while ago if, if rats could swim and I... Yes, they can. They, they can. Yeah, they can. Not saying it's their favorite pastime, but they can swim. Alright, and... They do, in fact, swim. Oh, man, that's like a margarita. That's a margarita pizza. Yeah. So I learned this as well in recent years, that apparently margarita pizza means very different things if you're talking about the U.S. versus the rest of the world. Really? Because I thought like margarita pizza was like just the traditional, uh, you know? Yeah, that's what a margarita pizza is to us. But apparently, uh, I at least I know to people in, in the U.K., a margarita pizza is just a cheese pizza. Huh. Okay. I don't understand. I don't understand why. I think that's just another one of those like clashes. I guess the naming conventions, like biscuits for cookies. Maybe uh, so. And then Chris. And then chips for fries. Crisps for chips. Uh, let's see. What's some other ones that are that are um that are weird idioms, or idioms? I think is the word. Point is, there's there's a lot of confusing ones. <laughs> okay. Well, that was an easy and pretty quick demo. But, wow, uh, that fast? Yeah. 
I turns out I'm pretty good at being a hungry little possum yes, running around this at, quaint little European at, town. You're good at at just devouring anything in your tracks with reckless <laughs> abandon and not caring about your body. Basically, an I'm an American. An American, to, an American <laughs> on on tour almost anywhere in the world. Fitting, isn't it? <laughs> Very fitting. So yeah, no, wishless pizza possum. This is definitely a fun little like uh time yeah. killer game it's cute yeah, it's i love cute. the art style and you know what i'm glad y'all could join us for this just little excursion yeah, a, little, this... a little a little treat if you will yeah a little little pizza treat <laughs> yeah a little a little mozzarella stick yeah a little mozzarella not, stick i don't know but i don't know man yeah yeah that was, was fun cute, we got to um... talk about like will's vacation and it's one of our shorter demonstrations but hey we <laughs> sometimes get some of those <laughs> yeah and if you have any other demos you'd like to suggest to us, be they food themed or otherwise, be sure to uh, be sure to sound them off in the comments below. And uh, yeah, okay, have a watching. nice day. Like and sub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like and, and take subscribe. Care of all right, bye. And bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Open Couch Gaming for more uh, uh, video game antics.